Hello, Rugby, and welcome back to another video of Heroes and Generals. And a lot of things, a lot of, a lot of things happened. And the biggest thing that happened was one of the developed uh, the developer updates. I'm gonna leave that in, and you can do whatever you want with it. So, what happened was when. I was doing and I'm still doing if I go to soldiers right now we're gonna go have a little chat when I was doing tankers this is my tanker look at that I was doing for other factions like Soviet medium and light and German medium light at first first Soviet at first when I f first unlocked a tank destroyer I or or a first medium tank no, first medium tank I bought the ranch you know when the pop-up happens? I bought the ranch. And you know what what happened? Nothing. I took my money away and the ranch never showed up in my inventory. I was like, hmm, that's weird. So I bought it normally. And then I was said, okay, I'm probably never gonna buy that from that again. Um, Finnish Soviet went to Germany. I think I, when I was doing the light tanks, I unlocked the ranch finally and by f by f sure sure my brain just goes bleh uh, when a pop-up happens and I'm like oh button buy and that's what I did it was like oh I need this buy in the pop-up and it happened again I was like bitch so I bought it normally again and so I lost another badge of credits and that wrench never came up anywhere in my inventory depot nowhere and i was like okay i'm continue playing and while i was playing i started doing the american tanks and i played with someone i forgot their name i really am bad with names they said just reported and this is the site so i i went on the site reported it they never replied to it and then a couple of days ta -ta -ra -ta, they they patched that it was unable to be bought. They didn't return my credits. Because two ranches are kind of a lot. They are a lot. So a ranch, if I go to my not gettable ranch guy. That I didn't get the ranch. The ranch is 23k. And two ranches are um, 64k. And that's quite a bit. That's uh, quite a bit of credits. Never got that back. They never responded to me. They just updated and moved on. Thanks. But maybe because I didn't put an ID. I don't know. Because I didn't know what that is. So. Why am I jumping face to face? So, oh yeah. Before. Bettini. I want to check how long is this battle pass going to stay still. Because. I'm bored. I'm bored of this game. As you know I already completed that. Very easy. Very nice. 11 more days. Oof. That's going to take a while. So. Today. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back to tanking and I'm gonna show you the most powerful tank in the game if you play it right. Again, I'm gonna say I didn't upgrade this tank yet. Um, second of all, um, I don't have any rounds for it, I have still no rounds, but you can still consider it the best tank in the game by far. So, the tank I'm talking about is this one, M18 Hellcat. Why? It's not like it has good armor or good damage. It has good damage, but it doesn't have the best damage or anything like that. But this, in my head, this is the strongest tank in the game for one reason. It's hella fast. Get it? Hell, Hellcat? <laughs> Let me just check the rounds here. Okay, this ones don't have... I need some information because look at this round. So the first one are AP rounds. Then armor penetrating rounds that that close range penetr explode inside of the shell. Then there are explosive rounds, armor penetrate um, better armor penetrating rounds, and then they are sharpened. What is this? And then there's white phosphorus smoke. What is this shot? I know I should google it on the wiki, but I'm too lazy, so... Can you explain? I think I read this, it says something like... You can detonate whenever you want and it spreads a shot or something like that? 
shoots pebbles a lot of directions is that like for infantry or is that actually like you shoot a shot it activates when where you set it and then it does m more damage to a lot of things on the tank i don't know so please tell me in the comments because i would really really know especially with the smoke one because i think the smoke one is probably busted i didn't lock it yet but i did go to gold free because i needed the arm penetrating rounds sheesh so yeah but enough of that thing let's just play this thing so I'm enjoying the game and I'm gonna explain why is this tank the strongest. So we're just gonna go normal game and see you when the game match starts. Okay, and we finally found the match. It looks like it's already been started, so let me just pick. Oh, it doesn't show the skin here. Oh, it never did. What am I talking about? So, now let me explain why is this the strongest tank in the game. So, I'm gonna tell you a thing. I'm not sure for some, one thing I'm not sure because I never tested it so see this machine gun on, on the left side of my soldier as you can see it's kind of a big cannon and I think it's the same as on the vehicles and I think these are also the same on the tank so I think this LMG can penetrate tanks pretty thundering not as good because it's not a bullet but pretty decent they, it can do damage quite a bit probably if someone is on that they can help you real fast but we're not talking about the lmg i'm just pointing out i don't know about the lmg part so um this thing is hella fast because it's a hellcat um i don't know how it got that name but yeah it's super fast um and the best part is why it's the best it's because if this thing starts spinning around you you will not shoot it at all the only problem would be mountains and other players but one-on-one -on -one situation if you sneak up to a person you will win so I sh so i think he's dead so i'm not gonna think about it so i think that guy died with an explosive shot so i'm gonna look okay they killed all everyone so what the, what the great part is, it's also probably quite a bit of expensive, so don't think it's a cheap tank, it's not. The first tank destroyer is a cheap one, very cheap one, but yeah. So you basically go like this, and then kaboom. And then the tank will try to turn, but you're super fast, and you can just drive around it. And the best part is... Um, because I was in that situation, I couldn't really do much. Because it was a mountain, and what you can do is just go f like this, and if you have a dot or a crosshair pasted on your screen, you can use that to aim. It's not going to be super accurate, but it's going to be accurate, especially on the low grounds. So you can basically see everything. The only problem is you can get a shot out, and then just do this and drive in circles. I missed. And he's gonna try to turn, and he will not be able to do anything. Okay, now I'm gonna get shot. But if I drive fast enough, he's not gonna be able to shoot me. And he shot me out of the tank. That's the only problem. But that's what I saw, you can do that, and it's very effective. Sadly, there was a lot of trees in the way. And I fucked it up a little bit. But uh, you can do that and just drive around. If he cannot aim at you, you can totally destroy him. The, probably the best way if you shoot the spinning thing or the wheels. And then you can just drive and he can, literally cannot do nothing. Sadly, I don't have an SMG. So, yeah. But at least now you know that the, if you do that in a nice big area with no one around but you and that... The, super heavy thing of the germans you will win 100 percent of the time i, I this is the first time I'm, i did done this uh, since a very very long time since the first time i unlocked it so i'm not really good at that but i'm pretty decent so that guy already healed himself up and that guy is gonna steal my kill now but whatever but it's, that's why this is the strongest tank and also i don't have any penetrating rounds i'm gonna get the penetrating explosive rounds because that that's those rounds are for close range and they're gonna do more damage that way and this tank is close damage most of the time because it's not as tanky as other tanks but it is super fast 
and it has some upsides to it. Okay, let's try to red track destroyed. Now he's gonna try to aim at me. So this time I'm not gonna. Okay. Also do do it like this. Oh no! I, I got a tree. I got a tree. No. I'm stuck. I'm stuck, step bro. Okay, thank you for saving my ass. I have one HP. I, I hit the tree. That's the only problem. Mountain and tree really fucks up your aim. But as you can see, I survived because of my teammate. Thank you, teammate. Look at that. Honor guard guards. Thank you. I appreciate your help. And basically, you can win any fight doing that. Because if they cannot shoot your tracks, you're gonna do pretty well. Oh yeah, if you're wondering why I have this skin, this is from the Winter Battle Pass, I think the first one. And, yeah. Using this one. Sorry. I just need to go, uh huh, there's the guy. There's two tanks. Okay. Okay, I just got double shot and insta-kill. So it's not as heavy tank or anything like that because it's a fast tank. So it wouldn't make sense if it's super heavy, super fast. So yeah, it's pretty decent tank. So most of the time you're going to sneak behind the enemy team. And because of the speed and if you have a skin on it, it's even, even sneakier. And yeah, camouflage than, than skin. It's even sneakier and you can really get behind, surprise them constantly and also uh, if you have a good team, you can literally spawn camp behind bushes. It's ridiculous. Once that happened to me, I was playing, I think, Germany. I was doing my secondary tank destroyer. And you know, that tank doesn't have um, left and right looking. It's just straight look. Looking directly straight. They, did they kill all of my teammates? I was just not showing because I'm not close enough. Who knows? So, yeah. We're winning. Okay, no one's here. Where are you guys? So, where was I? Um, I forgot. There's a tank right there. And he stuck me. And that's how you stop a tank. I hit the tree, he went behind me, and I couldn't do nothing. Uh, that's the only bad part. I'm really bad at it. If I played 24-7, I would probably get really decent. And I just didn't know the locations. And my team all died somehow. And that was a medium tank, not even a heavy tank. So I'm surprised my team died there. But what can you do? So, where was I? I forgot. Something about skins, I think? I totally lost my thought of uh, thoughts. I lost my thoughts. They just walked away out of my head. And I was saying them. But you can also snipe from far away if you hide behind a teammate. Um, it has pretty decent like range. So now he, that guy is unmovable. He's not going to be able to escape. And you can just poke them down. Because this tank is pretty good. But when the people will start focusing you, you better run. Okay, I cannot penetrate that because I'm not shooting the back of it. And he started to focus me and I need to eat out of here. I have only one guy to focus and that's the heavy tank. That's the last one and the more useless tank in the game. Just use a tank destroyer instead. Was that... Really? I couldn't even touch him? Who, who? Okay, someone's shooting from there. So my teammate is falling back because he needs to heal. Understandable. But I also need to heal. And the best thing is you can heal it pretty quickly because it's a tank destroyer. It doesn't have that much armor as you can see. I'm almost done. And I think I have still a bronze. No, I have a silver fixer. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna help you. 
because I know the heavy tanks are very very slow to fix and I don't I'm not sure they, I know they decrease the healing with multiple people so it is, it's not it's not double the speed but I, I don't think they totally remove that I think it's still efficient to do that but so it's not undestroyable so there are people there I'm not the leader so I cannot really point where they are he got shot immediately there's a lot of people here that should get and then I need to run away because they also have anti-tankers sometimes so I'm not gonna risk it for the biscuit so just have fun so I'm gonna stay in my tank so they don't shoot me out of it and I'm gonna move because I think there's another tank somewhere and they're not gonna be able to catch up with me because this tank is super fast voila one tank down snake behind him shot him in the engine and he's gone okay let's find th that one because the best part is it's not boring to play this tank. It's annoying sometimes if there's a lot of in-groups, so you can not do much because you cannot flank. Because multiple people have their backs and stuff. But most of the time, you're gonna have fun because it's super fast, so you're not bored of driving. Because you can go to one side to the other side pretty quickly. And that's a medium tank. And I flipped. Please don't... Ah, uh, and I'm dead. Shit, that's the only problem with, the fa with fast tanks. Do you have the balls to peek out? Do you have the balls to peek out the tank? Do you, buddy? Do you have the balls to peek out? Do you have the balls? Do not be in front of him or behind him because he, I, he can do damage to me. Oh fuck, he's actually smart. And he did damage to me, so now he knows that I'm here. But he's stuck. Okay. He didn't pick up. Okay, I'm just gonna undeploy. Mark him for my teammates and then leave. Ah, dang it. I, I flipped myself. Because it's not steady ground and it's super annoying. For them, it's even harder because they need to be careful as well. But god damn it. So close of ki kicking his ass. But what can he do? So, how many tanks did I kill? Four. How many deaths? Three. So, this is my fourth tank. So, I guess it's still decent. So, just beware, um, if you die too much, you're gonna lose quite a bit of money, but don't worry. Because you can get it back if you get a lot of kills, so. Again, still, with the team is the best way to play. Use your heavy tanks as your armor. That's, that, that poor guy is getting sniped from three different directions. And now they're sniping me, because I'm a Hellcat and they're afraid of me. That's a smart thing to do. Oh no, he's just hid. So I'm gonna go here. So they can, I'm behind the mountain, so he cannot see me or shoot me. And I can heal myself perfectly fine. So he's gonna expect for me to come this way. Maybe I can maybe really, really, really go around him. Because I'm not gonna look at the map because I need to heal my tank. Okay tank healed so if I check the map I can probably go around there as you can see that forest there he's not gonna he's probably he can probably see me but it's gonna be harder for him to find me also for me because I don't I don't think he's still in the same spot so let's see how far here I can go if can I, if I can go there in those bushes she's I can go far here we'll see when my tank stops Okay, I can go here. I need to fix this map. This is unfair. We have a pretty good hiding place. I think I see him. I 
think I hit a wall. It's right there. And I think I'm screwed. I think he saw me. Yep, he saw me. He saw me. I'm a dead man. <laughs> oh, dang it. I think there was a tank destroyer there. But oh well. What can you do? Uh, I tried my best. I went out of the map even. And you need to fix that. Because, sheesh. I didn't even know if I was going the right way. I was just trying. So again, we're gonna finish this match. I'm, I'm not, I didn't do that much. But well, at least I showed you why this tank is probably the strongest tank in the game. Especially if we have surprise power. So, yeah. Uh, so, you need to be skilled to use it. Like, every skilled character needs to have a debuff, but still. This tank can do a lot. But mostly, just use your teammates as a shield. I think I shot my teammate. And now he's he's he has a healing buddy. I didn't even get an assist on that. I call bullshit. I call complete bullshit. I know that 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 guy probably did the most damage, and then my other friend did probably the second most damage than me. But come on. When this is so un so unbelievable, unreadable. I thought, okay, the the person who gets the person who kills the guy gets the kill. The person who hits the hits them just before he killed the the first one who. How can I explain this? You know, if let's say three people are shooting the tank, only two people will get an assist. That's how I think it is. So let's say and there's this guy, this guy, and this guy. This guy will kill him. And this guy will do the second shot before he dies. So this guy would get an assist instead of this guy. Even though this guy destroyed the engine, the wheels, the fire rate, and he's gonna shoot again, just des destroy some part of an armor, and then that guy is gonna finish him off. And this guy will get an assist. That's how I think it goes. But this time, I destroyed the tracks, I did some damage, the other guy died way before, and this guy killed him. And I didn't get an assist. I call bullshit on that. I guess because the tracks are not really a component to the tank, so it doesn't count. But fuck off, game. You make no sense. So we got 7k because I have a, still have a veteran membership. So yeah, that's that. So we got a little bit of XP. I didn't get that much. I will have to go quite high. At least I can buy an ammo pack. I know this is probably not going to be that useful for this thing, but let's... Sure, I bought the red smoke for the tank, yes. <laughs> that, that happened. So yeah, so now I'm just going to have to play quite a bit of this tank and then this tank to get all of the ammunition types here. I still need to get for this tank. I need to get an explosive and then more penetrating rounds and then an explosive for the heavy tank. So yeah. It looks like I had the silver one. So a batch. So how much I lost? I lost 3k, got 7k. Mostly 5k if I didn't have the veteran membership. But I'll still get 2k. So you still get money. Credits. But it's also a tank. So hopefully this video was interesting and explains why this tank is probably the strongest tank in the game. If you can play it correctly. And yeah. And they also I think buffed medium and light tanks. I don't know about that tank destroyers maybe they just leave them as they are but i can tell you the sherman this uh, m4a1 sherman does so much damage that's ridiculous i used the normal rounds it did quite a bit of damage if you shoot the right places of course because i didn't have penetration but when i bought penetration it did still quite a bit of damage i killed heavy things left and right Slowly with a f with friends, of course, so that they're not focusing me, or when I surprise them, I did so much damage to them. I killed a lot of them, and now that I put like close range shots, uh, the explosive ones on it, it's gonna be even better. Th I think, and this is the only thing that should use expl the unpenetrating explosive rounds and the penetrating rounds. The, the, the more penetrating rats, not the AP, the APCR or HEA, whatever the name is. This is the only thing that should use those type of rounds, because this thing, the only problem with this thing is, and I can remember it when I first played it, 
it's the scope is shit. It's shit. You cannot do long range fights. And so it's, you can only do close range fights with that scope. Not really close, like pretty decently medium range shot. And it and I totally forgot about that fact about that thing. But I can tell you it still does quite a bit of damage of long range shots as long as you have the right ammunition. So I have main shots, the close range, because you're mostly gonna try to get close range fights or medium range fights. And then I have the range rounds. And this, this is going to be a little less because now the, the most amount of ammo you have on the Titan is 90. And when you buy a secondary type of round, it's going to split and not half-half. It's going to be, I think, 60 to 40. And then if you buy another tier, it's going to even lessen to, let's say, maybe 40 to 30 to 20. If I did 30 to 20. Something like that. So yeah, that's also something you can do. And also, I was I was watching one of one person's video, and they were using the first German tank, literally the first one, if I can find him. So this one, give me a second. I'm in depot. This one, and he bombarded this tank with explosive rounds, high explosive rounds. He just. I think he had four different types of explosive runs. And I was like, why would you do that? That's that's dumb. That's kind of dumb. But he was actually using a big brain move because um, the reasoning I th thought this was dumb because why would you split more and then you just have to change constantly? Why don't you just have it on one and have all of those runs for, for just explosive run? And it's big brain move because that time was his tank was supposed to just kill infantry. And do you know what's the most annoying part of it? When you run out of ammo. And if you have just one type of ammo, um, that, that when you surprisingly you use all of them, you cannot basically do anything because your secondary gun you're probably gonna use as well quite a bit. And then you're gonna have to wait to reload. But when you split them to four different pieces, you will just have 150 on one one, and then one on 200, and one on 300, or something like that. Um, ammunition of explosive rounds. And you just use the lowest one, and then it's gonna start the refilling operation, because you're missing one type of round, that's how it is on planes. And it's gonna refill, and you, in the meantime you can use the other explosive rounds. And that's how you can get back explosive rounds without even waiting. So yeah, I won't wanted to say that. That was really nice that I saw. So I'm gonna continue playing some tank this tank tanker, get the high explosive rounds. Um, no, the arm penetrating explosive rounds for this tank, and then probably getting normal penetrating rounds on this tank, but also high explosives, because I don't want anything in my depot. So yeah, that's what I'm doing, and then I'm gonna do also the light tanks, and then I'm gonna call it a day, and then I'm just gonna probably try to um, make this disappear out of my in uh, out of my depot, because I hate half stuff in my depot. I hate it. I don't like it. So hopefully you did enjoy this video. Give it a like, dislike, comment down below. Sorry for rambling too much, but I want to share every information I have. And yeah, um, I also asked if. If someone can request what I should do next on the video, so it's li at least entertaining for you guys. And someone was requested do some funny things in the game, and I was like, "Give me an, an, an example." I don't know what's a what's a funny thing in this game. The only thing that could be funny is if if I played with friends and we we're doing some stupid strat or something. That yes, that would one hundred percent work in voice call, but I don't have friends. And I probably would need to get someone to say, let's do this today, and then we will do it. And then I could make content out of it, but I'll have for, for permission if I can use them for, for content. But yeah, that's the only thing I can think of. Um, anything solo related, I don't think you can do anything fun. Fun, funny. Maybe I can be annoying and go full and in tanker mode and just bully people. But that's not funny. That's just bullying. Um, maybe I can do that exp 
explosive, high explosive round um, first thing. T totally do that. But I don't know. Um, that could be funny moment. But yeah. Just please request something. Because I really don't know what to do next. So I have already f almost 410 videos of this. So I'm running things to do. So please tell me in the comments. I would really appreciate all the time in Discord. I read everything. Uh, and if it get if your message gets deleted, it's YouTube's fault, not mine. So don't blame me. So thank you. And see you in the next video. Bye.